the gentlemen, go ahead and friends. Friends of it. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends of it. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something you die. Gonna break our brains to the other side. Friends of someone you could have it up to When you feel like ready to flip When you've got The world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you be there They're even there when you don't For a walk in the park or a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care For you Hello, Heather and friends. Well, I don't know about you, everybody, but today is my birthday. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the tenth episode of Go Heather Friends. Well, I don't know about you, viewers. Wow, ten episodes reached. Could you believe it? Ten episodes that we kept going. Well, ever since we started in episode one. Now I know it's a bit too quick to celebrate. Ah, but we're not celebrating that program, though. Oh, no. Because we got a very special birthday for a special type of bear. I don't wonder whose birthday it is today. Well, one thing's for certain, but it's not the Andy Bess's birthday, or Barbara's, or Bort's, or Ben's, or even Lisa or Maggie's, for that matter. Or Glenda. And it's definitely not mine. Well, you go, who's the birthday boy? It's no hair bear! He's going to become a tea bag love man today. Oi! Oh, uh, hello, everybody. I'm here. A dog bastard. How dare you call me a tea bag love man? I'm not, I'm not going to be tea bag this year, you know. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, no, you're not. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. That's payback for what he did to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding on the two bath roll. I know you're not that old. Uh, how are you going to be, Dorothy? Um, let me think. Uh, think. Uh, I think I'm more likely. Um, I'm more likely going to be 29 years old. 29? What? Even for a scraggy old bear? How about, how about 50 years old? Oh, God, Baxter! No, oh, she's not back in. I'm not 50 years old. And why are you scratchy baggy then? Yeah, I suppose that is quite true. But that doesn't mean I'm 50 years old. Oh, I think you are. No, I'm not. Yes, 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 you are. Oh, sorry. I'm... Oh, no, you're... Oh, God! <sighs> no hair best done it to me now. He's just doing it to me just to get me back at that. Go <gasps> here! You dirty old man! <laughs> Boring. <sighs> uh, anyway, no, there. Now, I'm sure the Bersons, however, have got a special present for you at later on. Ooh! Uh, now, I know I've already got the complete bag of running horse horses. That went well on children's own TV, wasn't it? Yep, indeed it was, no, there. Ah, but I've also got some presents too, don't I bet? Oh, yeah. Which one? Ah, you'll find out that later on in the show. Oh, but can I have some now? No! You'll have to wait patiently. Oh, come on! Please! Hmm. Nope, sorry, no, but not telling you. Oh, come on, George! Please tell me! Ah, sorry, no, but no can do. You'll have to wait until I say you can. Oh! Come on, George, please! Please tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! Tell me, tell me, tell me, please! Oh, stop hacking me! Stop hacking me! No, stop hacking me! No, wait, ah, wait, wait, stop hacking me! No, 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 no! Whilst we wait for him, um, no, heaven, stop licking my nose. Here's the good old classic short. From uh, the Bessons first. Uh, Joy, and I wonder whose birthday is it today? Or Come and meet the Bessons. Everybody say hello. 
dashboard and bed with Andy and Barbara with little Lisa too. With a first galore, with a terrible fall, just you wait and see. It's the Bessons. It's the Bessons. All right, you two. Now listen to me, now, cause this is important. Cause today is a very special day. Ooh, what special day is it, Dad? Well, is it the fact that we're going over to Universal Studios? <laughs> But we are not going to Universal Studios! Ah, so, um, what are we doing anyway, exactly? Oh, uh, well, thanks for asking, but, well, at least he's sensible for a change. So, anyways, you two, um, may I tell you whose birthday it is? Yeah, go on, Dad, tell us! Yeah, tell us, Dad. Well, apparently, you two, it's your mother's birthday, because we need to make her birthday special. Yay! My mum's birthday! Well, happy birthday to her. Nyeh. What? I know, I know. Get off the camera. Oh. That's better. Well, but I'm also excited... But I'm also glad that you're excited about your mum's birthday. Well, what about you, Ben? Um, yeah, I'm excited for my mum's birthday. Well, time really does fly when you're having fun. Uh, yeah, tell me about it, Ben. Yeah, time really has gone by. Uh, yeah, I agree with my little bro, Dad. <laughs> Especially if your Dumbo days are over. <laughs> Dumbo days? What <laughs> bastard? Uh, are, you, are you calling me a Dumbo all of a sudden? Uh, no. Well, I only said, your Dumbo day are over. Oh. <laughs> and if it's T-Rex, you're up then. Ah! What? Right, listen to me, boy. Now, what I want you to is to go outside and get yourself a present for your mother's birthday. And, but, if Ben takes you, will you promise to be safe with him? Yeah, of course I'll behave with him, Dad. Ah, oh, good. Ah, oh, you really do need to change your behaviour all the time, boy. Oh, all right, Dad. I will. Good. All right, you two. Right, why don't you two pop down to the shops and find yourselves a present? Uh, get a DVD or something. I don't care which one. Oh, all right then, Dad. Yeah, I think we'll go anyway. Right, come on then, little bro. Let's just go to the store. All right, Dad, boy. Uh, I think we'll just do the supermarket anyway. Okay, then. Okay, Dad. Well, see you later for when me and Paul comes back. See you later. Yeah, see you later, son. And good luck finding some presents, you two. We will, Dad. Yeah, we will. Well, see you in a minute, everybody. Yeah, see you in a Hello, Paul. Let's go find your presents. So. Well, I'm glad that I've told them to get them a present for Barbara, my wife. Hmm, I wonder if Barbara's still in bed by now. Well, I'd better go and check up on her. See you in a minute, everybody. Oh, hello, everybody. Ooh, look at that. Barbara Ann is sleeping at the moment. I mean, it is understandable because... I heard that today is a special day. Now, let's see what we're doing for Andy. Alright, everybody. Now, don't worry. I'm not really going to play a prank on my wife. Yeah, because I know she'll hate me for that. But I'll just probably just give her a kiss on the, on the face. Yeah. Hey, Barbara. Barbara. Wake up. Today is your special day. Uh, uh, oh, good morning, Andy, Bandy. Ah, oh, good morning, Barbara. Uh, who's, uh, I wonder whose birthday it is today. Oh, I don't know, Andy. Is it yours? No, Barbara. I think it's your birthday today. Well, happy birthday! Oh, thank you, Andy. I'll give you a kiss. All right. Oh, Andy, you're the best sis kid ever. You stinky dumbo. Stinky dumbo. No. Give it a rest for you.
Oh! Sorry about that. Oh, that's alright, Barbara. But happy birthday, all the same. Oh, and don't worry about uh, our sons. I've already told them to get them a present for you on your birthday. Oh, that sounds good. So, where are they now? Uh, I think they're at the supermarket, uh, Barbara, to get a present. Oh, okay. Well, I don't care which present it is, as long as it's coming from the heart. Ah, uh, yeah. Of course. Oh, and don't worry about that, Lisa and Maggie. I'm sure they'll say happy birthday to you. Oh, all right, Andy. I was so looking forward to my birthday. Yeah, me too, Barbara. Yeah, happy birthday. Hmm. Right, well, I'd better leave you to it, so I, so I can let you get yourself changed for your birthday. Okay, Andy. Good. Well, see you in a minute, everybody. Well, I don't know about you, everybody, but I'm so looking forward to my birthday. Oh, I love birthdays. Do you? Well, I better get myself off then. Oh, um, see you in a minute. Well, well, well. Hmm, looks like Barbara earned. What? Uh, <laughs> oh! I'm not that dumb, you know, <laughs> like Benny's. Oh. Alright then, Barbara. Right, I see you're up now. Uh, don't worry about Lisa and Maggie. I'll call up on them. Lisa, Maggie, hey, come and wish your Barbara a happy birthday. Oh, look, Andy, we're coming. <laughs> hello, everybody. Lisa Simpson here. Hi, Andy. Oh, hello, uh, Lisa. Uh, you know, I guess whose birthday is it? Um, it's not my birthday, I hope. No, it's not your birthday. It's Barbara's birthday. Uh, ben and Butch Mom. Oh! Happy birthday! Oh, thank you, Lisa! And uh, she thinks Maggie will wish me happy birthday, too. Yeah, of course. Maggie, come and wish Barbara a happy birthday! <coughs> yeah! Oh, good to have you here, Maggie! Come and wish Barbara a happy birthday! <coughs> Bring Bordy with you. Okay, right, bud, coming. Come on, Bord. Let's go see your mom. All right, uh, but big bro. All right, little bro, coming. Here we are, Dad. And we got some presents for Mom. Oh, good. So, what did you do, Dad? Well, first of all, Dad, I got the complete series of From the Bushes and Search for your Four. That's all I could find. Oh, good. And uh, did you also get one present up for Lisa to give to uh, your mom? Uh, yes, um, and I also got, um, um, that's for you, Lisa, that's for you to give to my mum. Oh, thank you, Benny. Uh, that's for, um, uh, well, let's just say, Bort, however, just found a couple of them, which is basically each free here. Oh, yeah, well done, uh, Ben. Well, uh, would you like to give, um, your mother uh, some presents first? Yes, please. Yeah, well, go ahead, Sean. Okay, I suppose I could. Uh, ah. Well then, Mum. Well, here's some what the bush is giving you. Happy birthday, Mummy. Oh, thank you, Dan. You're my sweet little boy. Oh, thanks, Mum. Well, I better go and join my sister sisters. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, no, look at this. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah, so I see we got volume four for four episodes, first aid and the snake. Oh, I see. And there's volume two. There's volume three. Oh, this is good for squeeze episode. I think I remember this episode, because that brings me back memories. Oh, why does it bring you back any memories, Barbara? Because I think, well, I know my husband doesn't ride a motorbike, but I heard... I think some parents have already seen this episode. 
it's not my favourite. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. Uh, what are you for? Thank you, Ben. Oh, you're welcome, Bob. Happy birthday. Thank you, Ben. Your turn, Bob. Oh, all right, Mum. Well, I'm coming. Uh, uh, all right, then, uh, Mum. Right, here are the free DVDs that I can only find. There you go, uh, Mum. Happy birthday! Oh, thank you, Bud. Let's have a look and see what we got here. Ah, that's Kenneth Williams. <laughs> He's funny. I want to see what Gulliver's Travels. Nice. Uh, what's this one? Uh, I believe that's the Madness of King George. Oh, cute. I can enjoy these classics. All right, Asia. Right, your last one for me. Uh, let's say that DVD is from you and Maggie. Oh, okay, I think that's fine. Okay, I suppose I better get this to Barbara. Ooh. Well, then, Papa, this is from me and Maggie. Happy birthday, Barbara. Thanks, Lisa. Oh, come on. Would you like a hug? Yes, please, Barbara. Me. Oh, thank you, Lisa. You've made my best day special. You're welcome. But, all right, I better get you off now. Oh, and I better join you two, ladies. Oh, yeah, and I better join my mum. Yeah, it seems I want to be on her lap. Uh -oh. All right, then, uh, everyone. Well, I'm glad that, um... Barbara has enjoyed her presents, and she'll enjoy them again in the future. Yeah, of course, me, honey. Yeah, same here, Dad. Yeah, oh, and uh, Dad. Uh, yes, boy? I love my mum rather than you. Uh, wh why do you love your mum than me, boy? Ah, well, to be honest with you, Dad, um... It's just the fact that you always treat me like a child. Wait, you always treat me like a very bad father, boy. But let's not try and ruin it up for your mum, eh? Oh, yeah. Because I don't want to spoil mum's birthday as much as I did with Lisa's. Uh, no offence to you, Lisa. I take you, bud. And I'm also sorry for calling you buddy boy. That's all right. All right, then, Dad. Over to you. Oh, thanks, uh, bud. Right, allow me to stand up. Right, let's get there with me. Uh, all right, all right, then, family. Now, now that we're all gathered here, because we're all going to sing "Happy Birthday to Barbara." Oh, okay, Dad. Okay, Dad. Get on me. Okay. Right. Allow me to start it all off first. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Barbara, our mom. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Daddy. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Oh, you made my day special. And now you're making me blush. So Ooh, sounds like someone's blushing. For a smelling bite of a crazy boat monkey. All right, guys. What did you say about my bite? That's why you call me a crazy boat. Uh, to put do, 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 to put do. All right, guys. I am waiting for an answer. I'm not dumb, you know. To put do, 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 to put do. Answer me, or you're grounded. <laughs> Oi, you can't ground me like that. I'm not a child, you know. <sighs> All right, I do. Uh, now, I just answer me. All right. Well, I only just said smelly wife of a smelly quitchy boat, which is you. Well, I am not a quitchy boat, and I, my wife isn't smelly. And besides, she's only had a bath. Oh. Oh, sorry, Barbara. I only just said smelly wife. Whoa! You're asking for trouble. I'm going to get you. Oh, no. First, Lisa. And now... <laughs> Barbara, and uh, Ouch. And for the last time, don't call me that. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. That's all right. You only have to deal with a dopey director here. 
Oh, uh, good job, Barbara. Thanks, Andy. Oh, but my day is going to stand special. Yeah, and you and I have done have a come a long way should stay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so anyway, so should we take a bunch of fuse now? Uh, yeah. Sure, Barbara. And I'm going to say goodbye first. Bye-bye, everybody. See you in the next series. Goodbye. Uh, oh. And finally, Barbara, the birthday girl. Hi, you four. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone. Uh, oh, yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Welcome to it, Dougie. Uh, the end. Yo. And that was the best Suits episode it was. And sadly, that's not really a short one. But don't worry, though, viewers. We'll try it in short again at later on after the, before the end of the show. Avon, Dingus, and Gilbert. Oh, speaking of which, though, here we go with a few shorts of Dingus and Gilbert. And we're only having two, just like we did before. Enjoy. I don't remember this Bowen being in my kitchen. Oh, it was from Gilbert's birthday party. I wonder if there's helium in it. That didn't do anything. Why are you holding that balloon dingus? I have expected my voice to sound higher. It sounds like it. Gilbert, help me. I can't get down. Bill Dingus is floating away. I'll think of something. You killed him. No, I'm okay. That's a relief. Does anyone have any glue? Er, uh, Gilbert. Can I talk with you about something for a second? I'm kind of busy right now. What are you doing inside? I... Oh my god. Oh, oops. You own my house of cards. It was very delicate. I'm very sorry. Oh, well, at least I tried. And that was Dingus and Gilbert. And of course, we got another treat to celebrate O'Hare Bear's birthday. Here we go with our George Winner O'Hare Bear special, which is called Dorchester. Ooh, oh, I remember going to Dorchester. Uh, is that something to do with us? Yes, that's something to do with you and me. Oh, yeah, because you see, Nova, we come a long way from Dewey Dorchester since TV special number one. What the very first one to begin with? Yes. Hooray! Oh, I do really enjoy that. Yeah, so am I, Nova. So am I. So here's the George of the Hair Bear Dorchester special from the archives. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Now, this is the local train station. Woohoo! And boy, viewers, this is very exciting. And uh, today, however, George Baxter's taking me to Dorchester. Hmm, I'm gonna have a look around first. Hmm. Yep, it's a very lovely station. Oh, what's this? Oh, so I see they got train times on here. Hmm. So, what are these things? Ah, oh, that'll be for the times, no, there, because you see, we're all going to Dorchester for a day out. Ah. Oh. So, anyway, George, uh, has the train arrived yet? Uh, not yet, Nerebe. Well, not since we've left Roper Road. You know, our house. Mm, I don't think it's arrived yet. But uh, is it arrived now? No, no, Nerebe. Oh, we don't yet. Has the train arrived yet? Is the train arrived yet? Is it arrived yet? Arrived yet? Arrived yet? Arrived yet? Arrived yet? Arrived yet? Oh, come on, George, please. Is the train arrived yet? Is the train arrived yet? No, no, Herr Bear. The train has not arrived. Oh, and as for the last time, the train didn't arrive yet because it was being delayed by bad weather. Oh, right, so we've missed the, uh, 11.15 train, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I'm afraid so, no, Herr Bear. Hey, but don't worry. But would you like to sit with me in the meantime? Oh, no, please, George. Oh, all right. Yeah, come on, then. You sit with me. Oh, okay. Right. I'll just like I did in the door, just for set up. Ah. Boy, that George. I'm sure I'm looking forward to trying to rip the torches out after all this time. Do you think so? Yeah, I suppose you do. But anyway, we're only just waiting for the train to arrive, and then we'll just get going, okay? Yeah, okay, George. Uh, are you looking forward to this so far? Uh, yeah, George. 
looking forward to this all time. So, uh, George, uh, why are we at the train station? Oh, did you say no there? Well, we had to get onto the train first just before we go to some places. Yeah, didn't I tell you that from the first TV special? Uh, no. I think you were a bit busy, weren't you? Yeah, I was. And anyway, uh, shall we carry on waiting? Oh, uh, yeah, please, George. All right. Right, you just have a little sleep, but just until the train arrives. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, right. I'm going to dream about the launch time, boss. Wait. Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh, yeah, cinema theorists will wait over they was awake and the train will be arriving. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Yeah, carry on sleeping. 24 hours later. Oh, just kidding. Uh, hello there. Oh, okay. yeah. Wake up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, I think the train might be arrived soon. Really? Has it arrived now? Uh, you better have a look. Oh, heck. The train's arrived. I'm going to get one of the trains right now. But, no, hello there. I need to put you back into the bag first. Oh, why do I even bother? Oh, he's almost as half bad as the Dorchester Sports Centre. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Cinema feels for whilst I go to Dorchester. Uh, you know. See you on the train, everybody. See you later. The train now arrived, and George and O'Hare Bear got on the train and are now on their way to Dorchester for a date. Right, there, there. Here we are then. Now, we're on the train to Dorchester this time, and hopefully you'll have a good time today. Now, do you remember coming to Dorchester on the first ever TV special? Yeah. Well, this time, we're on the train for real this time. Mm. I remember going on the train. Mm. That was on the first floor, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, would you like to look out the window? Or do I have a Oh, all right. Uh, 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 uh. This is a lovely cut to its side that they got. Mm. I see those fields are empty. Hmm, this is lovely. Hmm, so uh, what, can we, what are we going to do in Dorchester? Uh, I mean... Uh, are we going to stop with much? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, let's be surprised. Just wait and see. Oh, all right. Uh, is it part of day out? Well, I think so. Uh, anyway, would you like to sit with me? Oh, not really. Oh, all right, then. Yeah. You just have a sit with me. Oh, all right, then, George. Let me say something. Ah! Why, George? I've been doing this train ride so far. I don't think so. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, don't get and guess how cheap that is, though. After all the way that we had. Yeah, I'm sorry, the train was a bit delayed. Oh, that's all right, George. You didn't know. But did it just for one off? Uh, yes. Yeah, just, just like we did in the old days. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, are you enjoying it? Yeah, George, you certainly are. What did you tell you? Well, nothing to me, actually. Now, uh, anyway, we're just going back to... Um, anyway, we're we'll just making the dodge uh, and then we'll just go back and back there, because it's going to be a bit uh, short for it. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I'll make sure we'll be all right. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, I'll just show it to you before we get to Dorchester. See you later. Now today, Georgia and I are having a marvellous hot day out in Dorchester. Woohoo! Come on then. Well, here we are then. We're almost down to Dorchester Sports Centre. Let's go. Dong dong, dong dong, dong dong, dong dong. If you go down to the woods today, you sure have a big treat. Du, 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 du. Hello, George. Oh, hello, no hair there. Um, I'm just taking it out to a George stuff the other day. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, where are we going? Well, we're going to Dorchester Sports Centre today. Dorchester Sports Centre. Well, this is going to be exciting. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, but no hair there. This is the first time you've ever been out on your own oh, with me. So, come on. The Nitty Bad to Dorchester Sports Centre. So, go back in the back. Oh, okay. Right away. They arrived in Dorchester Sports Centre for a nice swim for George. Not the hair bear, because otherwise he'll get wet. Well, here we are then. The Dorchester Sports Centre. And, well, George is only going for swimming because I won't be in there. Oh well. I'll just go back into the bag. Well, and I'm pretty sure we'll both have a good time. So, see you at Subway. Woohoo! But, disaster happened at Dorchester Sports Centre. 
Du, 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 du. I hear that good Buxton is never going to do swimming this time today. Hmm. Because of the um the fun lane session. Um don't I'll just tell I'll just tell George what's going on. See you later. Right, so that's the early bird. Hmm. Well, what's going on then, George? Uh oh, hello no head there. Uh, sorry I didn't do any swimming today because I've already got the um swimming timetable. Hmm, see that thing? Oh yeah. Hmm, let's see. Early birds, six o'clock until eight twenty five, junior swimming lessons, fun and floats at quarter to one, and then two o'clock, just swim and just lanes. Hmm. That is a bit of a show, isn't it, George? Hmm. Yeah, I know, no hair there. And I don't know what's going to happen right now. Uh, I think we'll just have lunch at sub right now. Don't you think so? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Well, okay then. Well, you go back into the bag, and I'll just walk to Subway. And then, um, I'll let you out when we're ready. Okay then, see you later. Hmm, are we there yet? Mm. Not yet, no hair there. Well, not since we've left um, the Storchester Sports Centre, I don't think. Are we there yet now? No, no hair there. Are we there yet? 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 Oh, come on, please. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Aren't we there yet? No, no hair there. I keep telling you for the last time. We're not at Subway yet. Oh. Right. Well, are we going to have a rest for a moment? Yeah, I'm afraid we have to. Now, come on then, no Heather. Sit with me. Oh, okay. Right away. <sighs> How are you getting on, no Heather? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I need a rest after all that walking. Don't you think? Yeah, I suppose so. But, let's hope it doesn't happen again. Well, are you enjoying your trip so far, no hair bear? Yes, I am, George. What's it do you? Oh, nothing to me, actually. So, we'll just have, we'll just go to Subway, um, in a moment, after we had a rest. Okay, George, I'm just gonna have a little sleep. A couple of minutes later... Hey, I'm here, bear. Wake up. <laughs> What's going on? Well, uh, I think it might have dozed off. Really? And I think we're going to be a bit late for Subway because it's nearly 12 o'clock. Oh, heck. Subway? I'm going to go and have it. But, no hair, bear. It's not lunchtime yet. Oh, why do I even bother? <sighs> okay, well, see you at Subway. Mm. Georgia mates. Are we there yet, George? Not yet, no Heather. Are we there yet yet now? No, no Heather. Are we there yet? 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 Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Now, this is Subway in Dorchester. But of course, this is only beautiful, really. Yeah, because you see, the train is a bit cancelled because due to bad weather. So anyway, let's get all the toys to come up here. Right, okay, then go ahead there. Right, we're at the we're at the Dorchester subway after all this time. So let's come up now. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Hello, Mr. Body. Oh, uh, George, uh, are we at Dorchester subway this time? Uh, yes, sir. There, I believe we are. Ooh, this is going to be very exciting. Hmm. So, um, George. Uh, yes, Nova. Uh, can you show me what you've got? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hang on. How about you just look at it on the track? Oh, all right. Ooh. Uh, what sort of stuff is this? Uh, do you remember the big beef milk, uh, Nova? Yeah. Oh, I think so. And do you... Well, we're well, having it again, because it's big beef milk this time. Ooh. Well, I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, did, did I have to sign a solid with it? Uh, I know you have, though, but it's just, it's the only way to get you to eat salad again. Oh, 
Well, if I have to eat the salad, then, uh, could you look after me, at least? Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'm your best buddy, anyway. Yeah, all right, then. Huh? Now, try to keep up with the salad. Okay. Oh, well done, Herbert. Hey, you can't eat salad. Well done. Yeah, you're a brave boy, you are. <laughs> thank you, George. Yeah. Well, you deserve a kiss. Come here. Oh, thank you, George. Now, can I try the crisp just to get rid of this bad taste? Yeah, that's fine, Herbert. All right. See you, George. Right, okay, now about <coughs> time for the crisp now. Okay. Uh, what sort of crisp is this one? Uh, is it Pulkers Pops? No, 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 but this time it's Quavers. Ooh, Quavers? Quavers? Oh, I've never heard of it. What, is it going to be good? Yeah, of course it will be good. Yeah, can I just have a little bit of a try? Okay. Huh? Thank you. Can I try it, Frank? Yeah, that's fine. All right, then. Right, I'll let you do that. Oh, all right, Nervous. Right, tell you what, I'll put that drink here. Right, all right, Nervous. It's ready now. Okay. We owe. Right. I'm the same thing that I did to you, everyone. Here we go. Wow. That was delicious. No hair, man. You dirty boy. Oh, sorry, George. Pardon me. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, shall we, uh, shall we have a look around the Dorchester now? Yeah, just like we did the old days. Yeah, that's fine, don't it? All right, then. Oh, yeah, cinema feels. Yeah. They had lunch at Subway and heads to the church for a look around. George would have hair bear style. Right, then, hair bear. Here we are, then. Going to the church and then the park. Ooh. All right, then. So, are we at this church? Uh, yes, no, but I believe we are. Ooh, that's what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to walk round then. <laughs> so, George, is this the holy water? Yes, I believe it is. Ooh, that's what I'm doing. Hmm, I'm going to drink some of it. Oh, so there's no water in there. Hello? Anybody hurt? Huh, there's nobody there. <laughs> right, I'm going to push him down. Uh, ah! <gasps> I heard that. Are you all right? Oh, uh, off mine. Could you get me out? Oh, all right. Right, sit a bit, Pierce. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh, God. Right, I'm going to look round again. Okay, come on, then. Let's go. <laughs> I want to see if that's a children's section. Uh, I don't... Have we got postman part in this one? No, no, I bet. I don't think so. Only in Yeovil. Oh. All right, I'm going to keep walking, then. <laughs> But remember, no, Herbert, we're only just here for a quick trip. Yeah, because I have to catch the train by 21 minutes past three. Well, you better hurry up then. Hmm, I suppose I'll better have to. Starting now. Okay, let's go now. <laughs> oh, wow, no, Herbert. I didn't know you could run that fast. Oh, the box looks rather fast, this way. Oh, and I see that's the prayers book. Can you throw me over there? Yeah, sure. All right, well, soon a bit, first. Whoopee! Oh! Well done, Herbert. You landed on time. Thank you, George. Right, as soon as I lie down, I'm going to do praying right now. Just because what's up, viewers? Ah! Oh, Lord, please forgive me. I'm no Herbert, and I'm only here for Dorchester. Yeah, because George Baxter and I haven't been to Dorchester since, Dorchester since the sports centre. So, I forgive you now. So, God bless George Baxter's old friend, Matthew, and the churches that I went in the past since No Herbert Show Series 2. Amen. Is that good now? Yeah, that's good, no, but Shall we go to the park now? Oh, no, please, George. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, see you later, Pierce. See you later. They left the church and heads to the park for some fun. With the help of George Buxton, of course. Right then, no, Herbert. Here we are then. Now, we're at the park. So, which one do you want to go on? I mean, you can only have one go because I'm only going to head back to the tray. Or, uh, can I go on a slide? Yeah, that's fine, no, Herbert. Right, climb through here. All right then. Hello? Anybody hope? Right, I'm going to throw myself over there. Oh, you're sorry about this. Whoopee! Oh, oh! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Right, I'm going to throw myself in there. Oh, you're sorry about this. Oh. Right then, viewers, I'm going to go down the slide now. Right, come on, let's go. Whee! All right then, I'm going to go down the slide again. Now, come on then, let's go. Yeah, sit away, viewers. Woohoo! Ow! 
They left the park and are now heading back to the train station to go back on the train to Yeovil. Well, last time. Hello again. Now, uh, uh, George, uh, where are we? Uh, we're at Maiden Newton, and that means we're going to head our way back to Yeovil. And that means we'll go back to River Road. Yeah, I'm sorry if I can't take you to any more places. Yeah, but it's a good thing we didn't go to Dorchester Sports Centre, did we? No, mm, that would be awful if we went. Mm, that would be the worst day out, wouldn't it? Mm, yeah, but are you enjoying it so far? No, uh, George, certainly are. What's it to you? Well, nothing to me, actually. Uh, anyway, uh, so, do you think, go ahead, Ben, do you need the toilet now? Uh, no, please, George. Oh, all right, then. Now, we'll just, I'll go in there anyway. No, all right, then. Right then, Mr. Cameron, you listen here. Don't go near me, because I only need a toilet. So you go away whilst I need a toilet. Got that? <laughs> uh, yeah, sit a minute, dear, whilst I go to the toilet. Oh, hello again. Now, uh, George, uh, are we at a toilet? Uh, yes, no, I believe we are. Ooh, oh, I persist. <laughs> oh, so I see they've got a toilet, George. Hmm, did one of have a go at this? Uh, yes, I believe he did. Because he's not small enough to press any buttons. Ah. Oh. Now, anyway, do you need to toy with the mask with him? Uh, no, please, George. Uh, do you want to pump things like that? Uh, no. Uh, Alright, you do it. Uh, Alright then. Now, don't do anything to me. As I told you. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about that, viewers, but no oh, headband needs to toy right now, so if you just not watch for a minute. <sighs> then, sorry about that, viewers. Oh! it was. Uh, what do you think there, Ben? Does this bring you back any memories? Yeah, of course it does. My, peace really brings me back. Yeah, so do I, there, Ben. So do I. Yeah, I really miss going to Dorchester. Yeah, so am I. With you. Hey, but don't worry about that, Ben. I still go to Dorchester on my own, though. Oh, really? Do you? Yeah, of course I do. And besides, um, I think that my mother dad wanted me to become independent back way before I moved to Rope Road in 2017. Oh, so you do go out with them by yourself? Uh, yeah, that's right, there, there. That's right. So all it takes is to get my independence back so that I can go and live at Rope Road, which is in this very place. Oh, so that's the reason why you had to be independent. Yeah, and it's not about talking independence, though. Oh, not even if I do this. Now, there, Beth, I didn't mean that. Go ahead, will you please get off me? Go ahead, I did not mean talking independent, I meant independence. Oh, I see. Oh, all right, I knew that now, I knew that. Uh, so, uh, anyway, George, um, how are we doing for the person then? Uh, you haven't sought the present yet, have you? Now, don't you worry, Nova. That's later on, Nova. I promise you. Alright. Now, as promised, here we go with the best and short. Uh, a real one this time. And I'm sorry if we had to show you the episode, because it's the only birthday episode we have at the moment. But here's the normal short, just to conclude. <coughs> You two are going to act like savages. Do it outside this instant. Especially you, bud. <sighs> All right, then. Grumpy Dad. Oi! What? Don't call me Grumpy Dad. Now, I suggest go outside or else. 
Ooh, it's so scared. What? Watch your mouth. Right, that's it. Right, I'm going to throw you away. First of all, body boy. Hey, don't you? Ow! And I'm sorry, Bird, but I'm going to have to throw you out too. Come on then, uh, Bird. If Dad wants to play them somewhere else, I think we'll just go and find something to do. Okay, good. But I'll get you for that, Dad. No, you will not, son. And besides, I, I know I don't mean to yell at you, but I do mean it, I bought. Daddy, be nice to your children. <sighs> alright, alright. Sorry, Barbara. That's alright, Daddy. Well, let's hope they'll find something to do. Yeah, I hope so. Shame on it, everybody. <laughs> Ow! Alright then, everybody. Hey, uh, sorry about my dad. Oh, I only just tape with him, just because he thinks that went by too much noise. Uh, we didn't mean to make too much noise, did we, Ben? Uh, no, of course not, but so what should we do now? Well, I think we could play Bird of the Jungle. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. So, where are we going to get some jungle things? Ah, I believe that we'll just have to go around. I mean, besides, Ben, you and I are both like animals. So that we could be like, that I could be Bodsunga, and you could be Benzo, Benola. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea, Bod. Oh, boy, we get to be jungle animals. Shout out, everybody. Yay. That's Zuby. Hey, wait for me, Ben. Ooga, booga, 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 ooh. Ooga booga boo! Ooga 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 booga! Booga 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 boo! Ooga booga booga! Oh, this is fun, isn't it, Bot Songa? Yeah, I agree with you, Ben Sola. Yeah, let's chat. Okay. Ooga 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 Hold on, you. You're the Tarzan. Okay. Now, let's go find a fine to swing on. Right, hold on right then. Ooh. Ah, woof. Bort. Uh-oh. Yep, got the trap all set. Let's hide until Dad gets away with it. <laughs> uh, looks like we got ourselves a trespasser on our hands. Yeah, I agree. But I wonder if he'll just join us this time. Well, come on then, then. Let's go see what our trap is. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Sure, we cut it peace. But get me down from here, please. But he'll kill us, Bot. What are we going to do? Hmm. Don't you worry, my little bro. I've got it all figured out. Hmm. Right, it's all right, viewers. I thought about it. And yes, Ben, I thought about it. How about we just leave our dad outside? Oh, well, yeah, good idea, Bot. Hmm. Well, see you back inside, everybody. Yeah, same with me. So, Bot, um, is it, are you sure this is the right thing to do? You know, just leaving our dad until he stops shouting and raving like a maniac. Yeah, of course, I'm sure, Ben. I'm sure that he'll cope outside. Yeah, it's a good thing we made a trap with him, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, of course we did. Aren't you? I think I've had enough being a jungle man. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, it takes a lot of monkey work, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Well, it'll be a little bit like... Jungle Man! Ah! Ooh, good one, Bot! Yeah, thanks, man. Oh, uh, see you next time, everybody. Goodbye. And uh, bye-bye for me, Ben Basham. Mm, I wonder how my dad is coping outside. Let's go see him. Meanwhile, for Wacky in the cold. Oh, I sure hope he'll be all right. Oh, one just brought up the boat for you like this. I'll get you for the sport. Got you. Help! Got me down. Well, 
Bye bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. What? Oh, God! <coughs> and that was the bear in shorts. And it was called Board of a Jungle. Instead of George of a Jungle. You know, Tarzan. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. All right, now, do I bet. now um, I know you can't wait for your present, but I have a special clip that I want to show you. And it's not for short, it'll be for the person special. Uh, two of them, actually. Ooh, uh, is that the one where I came in? Yes. Ooh, cosmic! Yeah, and indeed it will be cosmic. So, anyway, here are a few clips from where no hair bear joined the best as special guest. Enjoy. Hello, Mr. Bear. Uh, do you remember me? Uh, probably back in the fifth anniversary special. I remember you, Andy. Yeah. I don't believe it, but you're still going uh, ever since I've had my show. Oh, I see. Uh, so, uh, 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 Mr. Bear, uh, I heard that you're very good on V-Rally too, but you haven't played it for, for five years. Uh, is that right? Oh, believe me, Andy, I know this game very well, inside and out. Okay, but I can see that. Well, good afternoon, uh, uh, Mr. Burson. Ah, good afternoon, uh, Bear. Oh, uh, uh, look, I'm a grown man now. Woo! A grown man? Hang on a minute. Don't I know you? <gasps> it's Clay Raccoon, everybody! Uh, who is Clay Raccoon, at uh, Uh, it's not what you are. <laughs> Clay Raccoon! I am not Clay Raccoon! What do you think I am, Mr. Bear? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just my mind's playing up a bit. Well, I got it mixed up with Mummy Raccoon! <laughs> And so, the gameplay of No Hair Bears begins with Bored and Ben watching this time. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay then, you two, so here we go then. So all you do is go to the left, uh, that's easy left, and that's going up the hill, and it's easy right, which means you have to turn right gently. Oh, okay, I think I got you now. Oh, and those yellow lights means that you made it to the first checkpoint. Oh, oh okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah, medium right. I, I think it's going, like going right harder. Oh, all right. Wow, then, uh, then. Oh, looks like no hair there has still caught it, though. I never knew he was very good at B-Money, too. Well, nor did I, but nor did I. Oh, I'm so pleased for him. Yeah, me too, up bro. Me too. Video games, but if you feel like if you want to join in, feel free to do it. But don't, but don't spray your eye. Laser Simpson, will you behave yourself? You think this is going to be easy, don't you? Easy peasy, let us squeeze you. I'm going to kick you. Oh no, no, it's not, no, don't you go! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm Well done, I can't believe that Lisa kicked you in your mood. <laughs> Good boxing, that is not funny. Oh, yes it is. It's funny and it's hilarious. Yeah, way to go, Lisa. Don't punch them. Don't you can't I don't think she normally does that to me. Oh. Don't she? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that, I still find it funny. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Well, here's the rest of the clips anyways, as promised. Sorry to interrupt like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I think she might say the gameplay of Maggie Simpson begins. Well, this will be the first time she's ever going to play a video game or so. And ask her big sister, like Dash Dingo. Oh, well, at least she's getting on to a good start for a start. Hello, Bantha family! Ah, hello! Hello! Hello, Dantha! Hello, Nerba. Oh, I remember you. Yeah, from the fifth anniversary special when I was little. 
Big fat bear. What? Yes. Do you know the hippos? Stop no that, fat. Uh, are you, Mr. Bear? Uh, well, I am a bit far. I think Bob might be right. I am a little bit far. Hey, George, look! I've got two more of the videos in the postcard book. Wow! Very impressive, Bear Bear. Why don't we go and watch it together? Good idea. Well, see you soon, everybody. See you soon. Bye bye. Mercy anyway. Uh, no. <laughs> Looks like my dad's covered in a blueberry pie. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed the laugh, a bot. All right, then, George, have a heart. Wash him off with coke. Oh, all right, Mr. Bear. All right, Abby. I suppose I will. All right, Abby. Well, I'm just going to wash you off with something. Uh, what have you got there? It's coke. Oh, oh no! Oh, not coke! Oh. 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 And those were a few clips that only features the hair bear that after the success of ten series of the Bearsons and the Shorts. Well, he's very. Well, he seems to be pleased that he's been on the Bears and Specials some of it. I, 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 you know that. I sure am proud to be on the Bears and But one question remains, though, George. Am I still alive on George with a hair bear? No, Bear Bear. You're not alive. You're not. You're not on George with a hair bear anymore. You're in this new program of this one. Yeah, too right. Uh, I wonder how the Bears and family's getting on with sorting out the persons. Ah, well. I'm sure you'll be very pleased to see it. Okay. Well, see you everybody. Uh, probably gets to the persons. And same with me. And hopefully, I will get the presents ready for no hair bear. Oh. And it won't be Pepsi Max, though, because besides, um, he always likes that sort of drink. And I wonder if he likes Coke Zero. Well, obviously, it's the same thing. That's uh, so zero sugar and uh, zero calories. Anyway, so it was... We get ourselves ready um to get some presents up for the hair bear's birthday. Well, here's one more shot. At this time, we're going to do Dingus and Gilbert to finish off. Anyway, enjoy. Uh, hello, everybody. Well, we're back in episode ten now. Now you probably remember uh, back in last episode. Well, you'll be very pleased to know that I am a very better father. Oh, and as for my son, however, he already apologised to Cat Dog and the same to his little brother, Bear. Oh, thank God for that. Uh, anyways, now, I also heard that today is someone's birthday. Ooh, it was his my birthday. What? It is not your birthday. Oh, uh, it's not? No, son. Look, I I'll explain why. You say, boy. Now, the reason why it's not your birthday, because it's someone's birthday and it's not yours. Oh. Okay, so it's not Ben's birthday, is it? No. It's not Lisa's birthday either. Nope. Uh, what about your birthday? Nope, my birthday is, um, my birthday sitting here somewhere. Uh, what about Mum? Nope. <sighs> then whose birthday is it then, Dad? I mean, none of us have got a birthday yet. Ah, oh, don't get why. Right. I'll explain, sir. Well, today, what is No Hair Bear's birthday. Oh, No Hair's birthday? What, what, is he going to be 50 years old, Dad? No, he's not, boy. Uh, I'm just joking. Oh, all right, that's what I thought. Mm. All right. Uh, oh, sorry, Dad. Uh, where are the presents? Oh, uh, well, I think I've got some anyway. Now, let's say that this one will be from you four. And as for, um, Lisa's... Wait! Oi! What's your mouth, Missy? Alright, alright. Here's one present from Lisa and Maggie. Let's just say. Oh, yeah, I I'm glad the two. The three girls. Oh, and as for these two, however, both will be from George Boots who created you. Uh, yeah, that's right. 
Uh, all right. Uh, guys, just wear it in your head. Let's go. It'll be coming in a minute, uh, everyone. All right, George, back to you. All right. All right, everybody. Well, I don't know about you. It looks like the bears have already got the presents up ready for Blue Hair's special day. And so do I. And I got two of these new videos that I'll give to the hair bear. Uh, after the bears and family, of course. Okay. Right. Back to them now. And the hair bear, you're there again. And we've got a surprise for you. Ooh, a surprise? What, for me? Yeah. And if you cover your ass up, I'll help you. All right. <laughs> All right, there, Dad Bear. Now, don't worry. I got you. Now, I'll uncover your cover my thumb now. So, here you are, there, Dad Bear. Happy birthday, Dad Bear. Oh. oh, happy birthday, Dad Bear. Yeah, happy birthday, uh, no hair. Happy birthday, Bucky no hair. Oh, Barbara, it's not Bucky. It's no hair. I'm sorry, Auntie. Just joking. Bucky no hair represents anyone? And Barbara Ant is wasting two cows for that. <laughs> oh, is that true, Barbara? Is that true, mate? You always call Barbara Ant? Well, only because I don't like being called that. Yeah, good thing you didn't call me that. Yeah, happy birthday, big fat bear. What? I know, I know. He may be a bit fat, but he's not fat, fat. Ah, that's better. That's what I thought. Well, now, Bear, we got all those presents for you. Ooh, uh, what have we got there, Andy? All right. Now, first of all, here is Special Video Boxer, which is only features the Modern Python series, too. And here we are, now, Bear, and it's from W. Smith's original. Oh, well, let's have a look at Oh, yeah, that's a Monty Python Sky Circus series, too. Ooh. Now, that's something I really want to enjoy. Ooh, what I see, it's got four videos there. Now, I guess that makes it the complete circuit series. Well, thank you very much, Bassett family. Ah, you're very welcome there, Bear. Yeah, you're very welcome, Mr. Bear. But I'm sorry if I could you, Bucky O'Hare. That's okay, Barbara. Here's the mistake to make. I mean, Bucky O'Hare is a little simpler. Except without the urn, of course. Yeah, well, thank you, Herbert. Uh, yeah, thanks, Herbert. Oh, and I'm sorry if I called you a big fat bear. That's okay, but I mean, I don't know like being called that. Yeah, because I hope that it already is a bit fat already. But thank you very much anyway, bears and family. Well, you're welcome, bear. Oh, and plus, I, I think that three girls have got another video box set for you. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Well, it's all right, bear. I'll put that to one side for you. And here's another one. But this is from the three girls. Lisa and Maggie and Glendy Boo. And here it is. Ah, oh, now what's this? Mox Brothers. Oh, and I see it's got four, four films on there, such as A Night of the Opera, Go West, uh, A Day of the Races, and Up the Circus. Ooh, interesting. I'm going to enjoy watching all these. Thank you, you. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Bear. Oh, and Maggie, come here. Bucky? Oh, great. Well, that's almost as off as Patterson. Barbara called me now. Not no about you, Barbara. Don't think it's real against Maggie called you, Bucky. Um, yeah, I could say that. But I certainly don't look like a, a rabbit that saves the world. Ah, but you always help us save the world. Yeah, true, that's true. Oh, hello, Maggie. Oh. Long time no see. episode, of course. But I felt so proud to be much older. This is first to George Buxton's true bachelor. Hey, what was that? Nothing. Oh, don't worry. I'm cuddling up to Maggie. Oh, well, that's nice. And I 
guess Maggie loves you. Oh, uh, yeah, because I'm much bigger than Maggie, you see. I mean, well, she's not about... Uh, well, I know she's not. She's a baby. The baby daughter of um, Homer Marge. <laughs> Unless it's Marge with Marjorie. Oh, turn me up on it. And I know this is just a joke. Yeah. All right, Maggie, I'll put it, put you down. Hmm. All right, you can be with Ben now. Okay. All right, then, uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much uh, for giving me a very birthday special, making my birthday special. Oh, you're very welcome, Ben uh, Yeah, you're very welcome, Ben Yeah, you're welcome, uh, man. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, then. Well, I'm glad that it went very well. And now, Bertha, it's time for us to sing you a special birthday song. Right, take it away, yeah, you guys. Oh, I'll be at this one. I'll start off first. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear big fat tubby bear. What? <sighs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> what? Why is it you always have to call it a big fat tubby bear? Oh, it's all right, Auntie. I just told um four that I don't mind being called that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, Auntie, my belly is already is still a bit fat as of today. Oh, sorry about that. Force of habit. It's because of what? Oh, that's all right, Auntie. Well, try again, and I don't mind. All right. All right, you start first this time, boy. Ain't safe to make a mistake, yeah? All right, okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear no heaven. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, Bouncer Belly. <sighs> well, thank you, guy. Yeah, happy birthday, Mr. Bert. Oh, thank you very much. Well, you've made my birthday complete. Completely special. Yeah, oh, I can't wait to show these ducks and thought up there later. Oh, all right. Well, the important thing is, Dermot, that I'm glad that you enjoyed your birthday. That's the main thing. Yup, indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, I'd better leave you all to it. All right. Well, see you back at your boxes, everybody. See ya. All right, then, Bobby. What now have we found? had celebrated no hair brush birthday. Let's go out uh, instead of a frosty milkshake this time, we're going out for a special meal to celebrate no hair's birthday. Ooh, special meal Ooh, I'm gonna enjoy that. Bye bye everybody. See you soon. Bye Oh Bye bye Mikey Ew Yeah bye bye I'm thinking of this inside this Oi That's what you get from Maria and bye bye for me, Bad Bess. Oh. And bye bye for me, Andy. And bye bye for me, Barbara. And now it's back to George Boomsby. Oh, I want to see so much left those two here. That's right, I better give back to George Boomsby. Uh, George? Uh, yes? I think someone's left there, so you can give me some hair back. Oh, thank you very much, Dieters. Well, see you in a minute, everybody. Alright then, everybody. Now, don't worry. The Bessons have already celebrated your hair best birthday. Well, now it's my turn, and seeing someone's left these two here, I think they were birthday presents for me, though. Alright, well, I'd better give these to no hair bow anyway. But first, I'd better go and get him back. Uh, oh, before I do, I'd just like to let you know, now, before we end this um, episode, I'm giving these to no hair bow, though. Just before we end the show. Right, let's have no hair bear back up here now. Hey, hair bear, come here, birthday boy. Oh, Alright, come in. <laughs> All right, again. Ah, good. Oh, did you enjoy um Beth Besson's birthday surprise for you? Oh, uh, yeah, I certainly enjoyed that. Ooh, yeah, I do. I am getting a bit old. <sighs> I don't know how old am I now. I mean, I've, 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 I've been here for a long time. Um, I think I've been with you ever since 1994. Yeah, tell me about it, though, But that's because Rumble Bears were invented in 1993. That's one year before I was born. Yeah, tell me about it. So, where's that present then? Oh, well, if you mean uh, my present for you, 
Uh, I've already got them right here, though, I bet. Now, I know I've already gave you only horse and horses to complete specials. Well, here are two new videos that I've got for you. Ooh, well, what's this? Bread and the best of Roy Bremner. But who is Roy Bremner? Uh, I believe that he's like a comedian. Oh, I see. Oh, that, that should be interesting to see. And I take that bread, the comedy. Uh, yeah, that's right. Right, I'll quickly show you the tape, first of all. And see that there? That's bread. Ooh, very clever. Yeah, and that's why I got them for you. And as for best of Roy Bremner, however, but bear with me. This is the right tape in there. Ooh, cosmic. Yeah, indeed, right there. Right, why don't you take those with you, so you can watch it um, just after the end show. But say goodbye first, Nova. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Well, see you in the next episode, but maybe go back to normal. Bye-bye. And I better grab that. Oh, and you're going to take those too, Nova. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, are, are you okay, Nova? Did you drop it? Um, a bit. Oh, I think I hurt my hand a bit. Ah, oh, don't you worry, Dobe. You'll be all right. Maybe perhaps you should have asked me to help. Oops. Yeah, I've got mm, sausage paws now. No, oh, hey, you haven't got sausage paws. You've only accidentally dropped it. That's all right. At least you put it over there. That's the main thing. All right. Right, I'll say goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Right, I better sort this out for the hair bear first. Okay then everybody, now as you all know that this is the end of this very special episode of No Hair Bear with Friends and No Hair's Birthday is over now. Okay, so as for me, George, personally, I'm going to say goodbye now viewers and don't worry about the Dinkers of Gilbert shorts. Well, we haven't got very much I'm afraid, but that's okay, it'll be back in the next episode or so. So, until we see each other again, bye bye everybody, see you again soon. Bye-bye.